Hello and welcome to Toys Testing. On this, I would say it was gonna say beautiful summer day, but it's not. It's cloudy and windy and a bit cold <laughs> for a July month. But uh, anyways, we're gonna test uh, knives today, and I have the privilege uh, of uh, testing one of uh, um, a great uh, addition to Lars Monson's new knives here. It is a bit smaller than the ones I have tested before, uh, but. Anyhow, it is a great size, I think. It has a length of uh, 23 uh, centimeters, all in all, and a blade length of 12.2, and a width of uh, 4 millimeters. A great, I think, 4 uh, or 5 millimeters is a great width on a knife. Um, it has a small drop point, almost straight edge, but I think it has a small drop point here um, and a large scatter grind. It is full tang, which makes it extremely, um, extremely powerful and, and uh, sturdy. And um, the steel is 440 C micro, uh, 440 C. Sorry, um, the handle is micro. Uh, as uh, a lot of uh, life makers use um, these days, it makes a great uh, handle uh, and uh, and a hold uh, to hold on. I think that's great. The weight of this is 216 gram. It has a couple of small nice features uh, to it. Um, this uh, end here is a perfect shape when you uh, have gutted a fish and taken up uh, by the spine you can actually use this uh, for scraping out um, uh, intestines uh, of a fish it is uh, just uh, made for this last month is a great fisher um, and uses a lot of his time to fish you have a nice leather sheet uh, and <clears throat> actually i love it uh, with this uh, sheet, with this flap, or what you call it, on here, because you can always you don't miss the knife when you put it down here. Um, so it goes great in, and you have, as of course, you have this extra secure of a lock, and then you have this uh, D ring, so you can either hang it uh, uh, in your camp or in your pants or what you want. Uh, and then, of course, you have this nice uh, piece of fire steel here, as you can see here. Nice size fire steel with an um, electric, uh, elastic band uh, locking mechanism. Um, okay, great knife. How about getting to test the sucker here? I'm started with some uh, batoning um, and then uh, see how it goes. And um, I have a piece of small birch here <coughs> in my club. Let's see how it does. And with four millimeters, this is no challenge for uh, this Fairmont uh, marker was laser knife. I didn't. I don't, don't know if I mentioned it from the start here uh, that. Uh, I've mentioned that it's a Lars Monson um, knife, but it is Brusletto who uh, produces these knives for Lars Monson. <coughs> I have a piece of uh, old uh, spar pine here and see how it does with that. But as you can see here, it plows through and I have had no problem in this uh, area at all. It has just been nice to work with. Um, let's see how it does at some batoning here. Um, I have an old piece of birch here um, and I'll just try to, uh, oh sorry, uh, chop, not baton, uh, but chop here. And as you can see here, it takes nice chunks, the 200, uh, above 200 um, grams makes it um, an excellent uh, weight so you can actually do the chopping and it does take nice bites on this old piece of birch <coughs> so no problem in that um, let's just try to do some carving here and as you can see uh, you have this uh, thumb print up here and this makes it excellent 
to take your uh, you have your thumb here and and you can see that it is easy to carve <clears throat> and I have actually been doing uh, some cool projects here I'll show you later and it has no problem in in doing these carvings also uh, if in the um, feather um, stick department I have had <laughs> tremendous luck or what you want to say ease uh, with this knife I'll see if I can get a piece of nice here and as you can see here I don't know can you see it Marlene mm -hmm. this is oh actually it was that it is easy to make feather sticks with this knife it is sharp out of the box and it is just as you can see here lovely to work with and this was just a fast feather stick uh, no problems at all making feather sticks okay um, let's see here maybe we should take the project when we were talking about the feather sticks here and today I was making uh, clothespins I think it calls clothespins and I was uh, take, taking a look at different um, ways to make clothespins and of course the old-fashioned way is where you just carve up uh, a piece of wood here and then you just take this down if you fall if you see this as a string just put it down here and it will it will safen itself these takes a lot of time because it is hard to carve up here the easier way is to split it like this one and then just lock it with a, um, a piece of band uh, string here uh, and then you have the same idea of just putting it this down here um, like this but uh, we found that uh, a little piece of ranger band uh, you could actually make a nice easy clam here uh, a clam we call them clams <laughs> the kind of clams um, close pins you can actually make a very nice close pin with a piece of ranger band and uh, that is what I we think that is most convenient so we might made so I made a lot of these and actually you can see here you can make them fun if you have the time and and um, time for that so that was the project uh, close pen today um, yes we need to see if this also makes a fire and um, I have a piece of birch here and I'll just the scrapings here and actually this is very very thin piece of birch bark um, so this will be interesting just need to put it here last monsons uh, knives I have tested one before I'm gonna show you later but uh, today I am gonna test the uh, Femons marker it has a nice uh, this um, fire uh, steel here on the Munson has a nice uh, locking mechanism in this uh, elastic band here and uh, the uh, knife has a nice uh, 90 degree back so it gives a great spark and let's just see here if we can mm. there we go nice Birch fire. Yeah. Um, okay. Actually, I forgot to mention this uh, 90 degree back here, uh, and I'll just uh, fastly show show you here that it has a nice 90 degree back. If you like to do your um, scrapings or something like that for center on this way, you can actually do this, and it has this very fine 90 degree back okay I think that's about it for this Monson here okay to sum up on this Fairmont marker uh, Monson Brusleto knife a great 
knife. I'm just loving the size of it. I'm loving the quality of it. It's just a great knife. Uh, the price is uh, 1700 crown, Norwegian crown. I think it's about 160 euros or something like that. A ah, great, great, great knife. I great love, just love the size of it. I also uh, tested another one, uh, the Burgerfjell. I don't know if you remember it. Uh, the big brother um, to this one. Also a great knife, but as you can see, a larger knife, uh, more of the uh, shape of a, a Finnish pukul um, knife. This is a more traditional shaped knife and a more uh, traditional size knife. So if you want the big one, take this one. If you want the smaller and more traditional uh, shaped knife, this uh, Fairmon marker is just a great knife. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, be sure to subscribe, subscribe, share and all the other subs and I'll be back.